With people across the world under stay-at-home orders to help contain the spread of the novel coronavirus, talk is turning to how antibody tests might help to lift restrictions. So what exactly are they? Well, unlike tests to diagnose diseases, antibody tests show who has been infected and recovered. The body makes antibodies in response to many illnesses and infections, including other coronaviruses. They're considered crucial in efforts to get people back to work safely as the presence of antibodies to the virus indicates possible immunity to future infection. New blood tests are being developed to identify antibodies unique to the new coronavirus. So what do these tests involve? Well, for the most accurate results, blood is taken from a patient. It is then put into a centrifuge machine in order to separate it. Phlebotomist Bianca Torres explains. We put it in the machine, close it, hit start, and then it's about a good uh, 10 to 15 minute spin time. And so it would come out looking like this. So this is the serum part of your blood. These are the platelets underneath. And that the tests look for two kinds of antibodies, IgM and IgG. The body quickly produces IgM antibodies for its initial attack against infections. It makes IgG antibodies more slowly and retains them longer. IgG antibodies are what suggest possible immunity. But how accurate are these tests? Well, the higher the sensitivity and specificity, the more accurate. Sensitivity measures how often a test correctly generates a positive result for people who have the disease. And specificity generates a negative result for people who don't have the condition. So I want to know that sensitivity and specificity of the test because that's going to give me much greater confidence. If you said, John, it's, it's 95%. I, honestly, I'm not impressed with that. I want to hear that it's 99. I want to hear that it's 100%. If you test where there's a low prevalence, meaning there's a low percentage of people that have the disease, and say you have something that's 95% accurate or 90% accurate, that sounds pretty good, but it's not when you're testing hundreds of thousands of people or millions of people, you could have tens of thousands of inaccurate information on both ways. So does this all confirm immunity? While antibodies to many infectious diseases typically confer some level of immunity, whether that's the case with this unique coronavirus is not yet known. It's also not clear how strong immunity might be or how long it might last in people previously infected. With some diseases like measles, the immunity can be lifelong. With others, immunity can wane over time. For SARS and MERS, which are similar um, to the novel coronavirus, presence of antibodies typically gave persons two to three years of protection. So that's a good sign. And in other instances like this, antibodies usually give protection. For how long? We're not sure. But if I had to guess, I'm going to guess that the presence of antibodies gives some protection if it's an accurate test. So can these tests really help to end lockdowns? Governments and companies could use antibody tests to determine who would most likely be safe to return to work and public life based on infection risk. So people with negative antibody tests or very low antibody levels would likely have a higher risk of infection than people with high antibody levels. But experts have warned this all depends on the accuracy of tests.